Hello everyone, it's Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today I'm working on an elephant embellishment applique. I'm crocheting a hat for um, a friend of mine that just had a baby so I thought oh this will be so cute to to put it on the hat so I thought well I gotta make it so might as well make a video of it. I found this elephant on repeat crafter me I believe it is dot com um, and I because it is not my design and I'll put it in the description from the website that I got it from so we're going to go ahead and get started I'm using just a gray worsted weight yarn and I also have this because I haven't decided yet if I'm going if the elephant's going to be big enough to sew on a button for the eye or if I'm going to make my own little eye and I ran out of black um, thread so we're just going to go with a really dark brown it'll work we'll make it work so what you're going to do is you're going to start out with an, a magic ring and you're going to work eight half double crochets in the ring so first of all you're going to chain one and we're going to work eight half double crochets in this circle so it's yarn over insert into the circle yarn over pull up that loop where you have three loops on your hook yarn over and you're just going to draw through all three just like that oh i forgot to say i'm using an f hook and you can use any size really it just depends on the size that you want your elephant to be so yeah well this is our second half double crochet so there's two three four almost four five seven and eight so when you finish this before you join it and tighten the circle it's kind of going to look like that so once you tighten it all you do is you pull gently on the tail and just kind of pull it and your circle will start to cinch up and then you're going to join the round by the top of the first half double crochet you're going to insert your hook and you're going to make a slip stitch so you'll yarn over bring it through bring it through again then you can still tighten your your circle so your magic circle will look just like that so round two you're going to work two half double crochets in each stitch so you'll have a total of 16 so chain one and then you are going to work let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen perfect so you're going to go right into your half double crochet here so you've yarned over yarn over again to pull it through three loops on the hook yarn over pull through and you're going to do that again in that same stitch so you can see this is where we're going in the same so you'll work two half double crochets in each stitch around so there's two so we're going to move to the next one and you can see where it's that v shape here and you're going to go under that and that's just the, the stitch there so we're going to work two all the way around and you're going to have a total of 16. so once i finish this i'll come back so i've just finished the 16 and now i'm going to join and that's another slip stitch 
and then chain one. And then in this next round, you're going to do two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So we'll go ahead and get that started. So two half double crochets. And one into the next one, two into the next one. And you're going to just keep repeating that all the way around. And I will be back once I'm done with this round. So now we are ready for round four. So I've joined. Now, um, what you're going to do on this round is chain one. You're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So it's insert into the next, yarn over, draw up, yarn over through two. You're going to do that into the next as well. And then you are going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch. So that's going to look like this. Single crochet. In that same stitch, you're going to half double crochet. And double crochet, which is yarn over, insert into that same space, yarn over, draw up. So you have three loops. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So it's going to look like this. And then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. So come to here, you can see where that hole is. Chain two. I'm having to look at the instructions at the same time and then you're going to chain two and then come down to this stitch and make a slip stitch into there and then you are going to slip stitch into the next two so next stitch slip stitch and you're going to do that again chain two one two and then you are going to double crochet into the next two stitches so here's the next stitch and we're going to Double crochet one and then to the next stitch another double crochet so your shape is starting to look like this it's a little blurry why are you doing that I think sometimes let me move this out of the way maybe further down it tries to focus on the background as well and it's still focusing on the background. There we go. Well, that's a bit close, isn't it? Hold on. Let me come back in just a second. Okay. Maybe that made it a little bit better. So now after that, because we've just double crocheted in these two stitches, now you're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the next stitch. So it looks like you've made the feet there. How cute is that? Then you're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So you come to here, single crochet into the next two. So that's one, 
and then two slip stitch into let me make sure I got that right single crochet into two slip stitch in the next one so we're going to slip stitch yellow now we're going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine this must be his little trunk oh, that's so cute now we're going to single crochet down the trunk so I like to when I'm working on a foundation row if you've seen any of my other videos I like to crochet into the back ridges it just makes for a cleaner stitch so we're going to single crochet into here we're going to go all the way down the trunk so that's one It'll probably be about eight since we pretty much skipped the first stitch there we go that's what number three I normally use my fingernail to do this foundation row. Four. Five. Be really nice when it does not want to go in there, does it? Six, seven, yeah, so there'll be a total of eight single crochets because you'll, um, you have to go in, you can't go into the one that's right beside the end. Here's the eighth one. Okay, so there you've made eight single crochets. Surely that's not the tail. That's got to be the, it kind of it feels like it twisted on me just a little bit. So now we're going to double crochet in the same stitch as to where your chain started. So I want to make sure it's in the correct one. So we're going to double crochet. Yes, so that is the trunk. And then I'll, when I applique it, I'll make sure that it's turned up like that. Okay, now we're going to double crochet into the next three. We have one, two, three. Then in the next stitch, you're going to work a half double crochet. And then you're going to single crochet around. So we're going to do how many we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and that looks like it's coming to the end. So before we actually join it, we are going, let's see, chain three, one, two, three and we're going to slip stitch down the chain let me turn that around a little bit so you can see and we're going to slip stitch into this one and then slip stitch into the next one turn. no 
around so it's not the back. And then you're going to come down here and join the round with a slip stitch. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. So that's his little tail. So that is essentially the applique. And I need to grab, hold on just a second. Okay, so I've just cut that. And so now I'm just going to fasten it off. Let's take a look at this guy. Let's see how he's looking. So once I applique him onto the hat, because I still we still have to make the ear, but I'm just kind of taking a look at this. This is, well, that'll be tucked in, but that's his tail, his little feet. And then I wonder, because I'm just playing along with this too, his little eye. Oh gosh, that might be a little bit too big. <laughs> have to play around with that. Okay, so now we're going to make the ear. Okay, now we're going to make the ear. So you're going to make another magic circle. Then going to chain two. You're going to work nine double crochets. Split sometimes. And so you're just going to work nine double crochet. So I'll come back after the ninth one. Okay, so I've made my nine, and then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to join it to the magic circle but you don't want to join the circle so because you're making the ear and you want to pull this tight and your ear is kind of gonna look like a little bean so to speak so, and then you can still pull that a little bit tighter to really close in the hole it doesn't want to close it like really tight, but I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. I want to keep a long string so I can sew it onto my little elephant man. We'll just fasten that off. Then kind of get that in there. So once the ear is sewn on. It'll kind of go like right here. I got to figure out the eye, what I'm going <laughs> to, what I'm going to do with the eye. But yeah, so your little elephant man will go right in there. So what you need now is one of your materials, of course. Is a tapestry needle. And you're just going to sew your little bean ear onto the elephant. So just kind of figure out where you want it placed for an ear. I guess maybe like that. And you're just going to sew it into place. And remember, the elephant is going to be your applique, so it, you can sew it onto, like I'm, I'm making the hat, and I'm going to sew it onto the hat. You could put it on a little shirt, like a, a onesie. You can put it on like a little afghan. Um, it's just really a cute little, just, it's just so adorable, this little elephant. And I thought, oh, this will be perfect. Well, not with my dog hair, but I thought it'd be just perfect to make it onto a hat. So 
I'm going to continue sewing this around and I'll be back. Okay, so I went through and decided um, to use some black yarn that I had and I just kind of draped it through twice and I'll cut that off. But you kind of see the shape and this little trunk. You can take him when you sew him on to your piece. To keep it from turning, you can just kind of turn his little trunk up like that. But I've, I've sewed on his ears, I've tucked in um, the pieces of yarn, but that's your little, he's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I think um, you can make him in, you know, different colors and stuff, but since I'm making a pink hat, I thought, oh, gray would go really well with it. So... There's my little elephant I'm going to tie off. And I literally just draped that through twice to make the eyeball. Um, the eyeball, oh, you know what I mean. But um, I'm just going to tie that off and tuck. And then I'm going to sew it onto my hat. Thanks, guys, for watching. Y'all have a great day.